Hey, what's up, guys? Chip Walters here. Uh, I'm talking a little bit about some uh, issues I'm having with Illustrator and actually Windows. It's not really issues, but it's uh, one of the problems that Illustrator doesn't have. It doesn't have any way to change the background color for artboards. As you can see, here's a white background. If you really can't tell here, but if I if I select the text here, uh, actually change the color of it. See, I've got some text here, and I want. I, I know that this is going to end up in After Effects on a white uh, or on a different color background. So uh, I'd like to see what that color looks like. In fact, that color is this blue right here. So if I if I want to create change the background uh, for Illustrator, uh, because I can't set the background color for artboards, uh, there, there is a, a, a neat workaround for that. You go into the view and you basically say show transparency grid. And now we're seeing this. So I can see it there, but I still want to see this blue color. So in order to see the blue color, uh, I need to go over to my document setup here. And I'm going to need to change this transparency to that blue color, right? The problem is, is this stupid Windows picker from Windows 95, I guess. It's just, the, it's amazing how Microsoft haven't fig hasn't figured out yet that actual designers use their, <laughs> use their operating system. This doesn't allow me to be able to figure out what this color is without having to go through and type in numbers. But there is kind of a workaround, and let me show you what that is. So the workaround uh, is, hold on, let me get to, here we go. So the workaround is using two utilities, one instant eyedropper and two paste color. That's kind of a pain, but if you see instant eyedropper, basically it's a little, it sits in the toolbar tray here. Uh, and as you click on it, and I'll, grab, I'll do it on mine, and you drag it around, it's going to tell you what those colors are. And you can set it to hex or RGB or whatever. And if you want to use it with the Windows Color Picker, you need to set it to RGB. So if I take this particular green, then I'll go over to the Paste Color tool, and this is Paste Color. So eyedropper is instanteyedropper.com. Paste Color is this URL, and the, uh, it's uh, Roland, T-O-T-H dot H-U slash paste color. By the way, I'm win on Windows 10, and with paste color, basically the way you want to use it is you're going to use the Control shift p hotkey to invoke this input box, right? And then you're going to basically uh, paste in there, and I'll show, you how, I I'll show you how that works. So let's go, let's hold, hide this. So I want to create, I want to grab this color, so I'm going to grab, grab here, uh, I've got that color in the, in, on my clipboard now. I'll go into here, and what I'll do is I will select, I'm going to select this, and I put my cursor right in the R tab, and Control Shift P, and I will paste my number in there, say OK, there it is. And I add it to the custom colors, there it is, and say OK. Now that I've added it, I can just very quickly go in here, hit it again. And we're good, and we're good. Now, you see that it's actually, I'm still using that transparent background, but it's set to that, that color. So now everything works as it should. So there's two little trips, tips here. One is how to use solid color backgrounds with your artboards, and the second one is how you can actually use an eyedropper tool for the ancient and, and, and crappy <laughs> Windows uh, color picker. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.